Hey everybody, Will here with Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you another episode of Three Beers and Whiskey. This is episode number two featuring Sim Ross. Here's beer number one. How y'all doing? William here from Whiskey, coming to you from Tom Cruise Studios. I have with us tonight Sim Ross and his band. We've got Sim, Sonny, and Jimmy. So we're going to sit around, we're going to have a few beers, three beers, and whiskey, and just kind of see what comes up in the conversation. So y'all enjoy the show, and uh, well, let's get to it. So anyway, thank you guys very much for joining us tonight. I um, appreciate y'all taking time out during the week to uh, come do a show. Um, so how long has Sim Ross, like this incarnation of your band, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been in Austin, Texas now for going on two years next month. Okay. This month. Uh, we've been playing together for going on a year. Right. Give or take a few months. Okay. And Jimmy and our bass player Flash joined two, three months ago. Three months ago. And your album, Mother's Day Blues, was a year old. Oh, about a year awesome. old. Okay. So, yeah. that, so Sunny joined right after the album dropped. Yeah. Right on time. About, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and I and here's the crazy thing for me is um, when I was looking up Sim Ross and looking your information up, uh, there's a coffee shop you play at, uh, Kick Butt Coffee that you yeah, play yeah, at yeah, for. Yeah. I saw. I was looking at that and I went, Oh, Kick Butt Coffee. And then I'm looking with all the bands you play with. And I'm like. Holy crap! I know all of these people. <laughs> um, so that was a pretty cool. Now, have you ever? Do you guys know who Dave Pruitt is or Dave? Yeah, Dave, yeah, yeah yes. Dave. and that's there. which yeah. is yeah. Because I was like, I know Dave. Dave, shoot, I've known Dave for yeah. uh, you know he, he, decades. He took a video of our first show together. Really? And, uh, so that's floating out there uh, on Video Land for people to watch. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest it. Oh, <laughs> it was you know it was a it was the first show we were dialing in uh, levels still. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, Sometimes those are the most fun and exciting. It's though. okay. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, so we it wasn't like he told us he was in a film. It was just like a one off. Yeah. Well, we most of the time he that's that's his mo is just you know guerrilla mm -hmm. filming. Yeah. So, but yeah, everybody loves him. Yeah, it was well done. So uh, what's when I contacted you, Sonny, because me and you have known each other for it's been a couple of years or longer. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's been a couple of years. Um, yep, yeah, those guys right there. Um, y'all were actually in in rehearsal when I contacted you to see come to the show. So what do y'all are just rehearsing for shows? Got some new stuff y'all are working on, putting together, putting out? Uh, rehearsing for shows right now. We haven't started. Writing per se, we've we've put together some songs that uh, either are on the first album and aren't played as a full band until oh, now, or songs that I have from previous projects that have never been recorded. Just so on, yeah, I was waiting to be finished. Okay. Putting on touches on some stuff that I already had, changing little arrangements and whatnot. But so you're still pushing hard on on uh, your, yeah your, your, yeah your current album. And for everybody out there, Mother's Day Blues. Is an amazing, amazing album. Uh, go to Sims page, um, and uh, it's actually available. You can listen to it right off of his page, which is SimRossMusic dot net. Dot net. Yeah, and uh, you can listen to it right there. Um, so it's fantastic stuff. Buy it. Go to a show. Buy the CD. Um, Dallas is coming up for you guys shortly. A uh, week from today. Yes. Okay. At cool. Adairs. Where at? Adairs. Adairs. Okay. Is that in uh, Deep Ellum? Deep okay, that's what I was going to ask. All right. It's been there yeah. for a long time. Dude. Me and uh, wife have been down there and to Deep Ellum and, and you know, cruise around the streets and the back alleys. Uh, man, that is such a cool place. Well, you know, it's, it's funny. Uh, I guess probably the 90s, early 2000s, and Deep Ellum was like awesome. I mean, lots of clubs and lots mm -hmm. of music, and pretty much all the big bands from Texas would stop in and play, you know. Part of the run, uh -huh. it's not really like that anymore. It has um, super condensed down to really small. It's area. real small. I mean, they still have a lot of bars, but only a few like music venues or clubs. Yeah, I've been playing here for a long time. It's just a fun place. It's just a little cool, divey kind of fun bar. And so yeah, I'm looking forward to going back. It's so, so kind of going off of that note, uh, you know, you two have been about a year together, and you're the new addition of the band. 
So how how did that introduction meet, or how did you guys like how that happen? The internet. Man. <laughs> really? Oh wait, wait. Sorry. Don't tell. Was it was it Craigslist? Yeah. It was. Really? Yeah. I think I answered it. Yeah, actually, it was kind of funny. So, Guitar well, player looking for a band? Well, well when I no, stopped. He was, he was like looking for like a singer-songwriter. Oh, okay. Or that's the way it sounded. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, I, uh, when I left the last project I was in before this, I was actually going to move to Colorado. Yes, yeah. I remember that. And yeah. then that didn't work out. And so I was like, well, I really would like to do a project that's just really kind of music that I love to listen to, which is kind of soul and R&B rock kind of music. Right. And so I had put on an ad looking for some try to put some, some players together, and that didn't really pan out. But Simon responded to that, and I had listened to his record. And then was it Mother's Day or yeah, something? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I've been out at that point. Yeah. Okay. And then it took us about a, probably a month, maybe three, four weeks. Um, I actually couldn't. Sim was the only person who replied to that really, so I couldn't really get any traction on that other thing, mm -hmm. which is probably a good idea, anyways. <laughs> and then, and then I was like, well, let me let me just kind of go back through and see, you know, what I had seen, and then I listened to his record, and I was like, this record's really great. So I hit him up. Yep. Actually, it was really funny. Um, he came to my house. I've got like a little music room in my house, mm -hmm. and uh, we were we were just going through his songs and talking to stuff, and I think he spent like an hour before we even. Played it song? Yeah, I think we got like halfway <laughs> through a song. Yeah, we just talked like, gear. Oh, Guitars. yeah, we nerded out on gear <laughs> all day, every day. I think it seems right. like it. Yeah. So, so. Well, and, and the rest is history, I guess, as they say. So. And so, Jimmy, how did you fall into this uh, a few months ago? Well, uh, the bass player, Flash, uh -huh. um, Flash and I met through another uh, mutual friend, another musician friend. And uh, Flash just called me up one day and he said, hey man, you know, I think you'd be great for this. Um, you know, here's some links, tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to come in for an audition? And I listened to the music and I was like, yeah, this is something I definitely want to be part of. You know, great tunes, good hooks, good melodies. Um, yeah, it was, it was a no-brainer. I was like, I want this gig. Nice. And so, uh, you know, I sat down and uh, I think he sent me nine songs. <laughs> And uh, I sat down and worked them out and went in and uh, we played. It felt good. And uh, when they asked me, you know, do you want to rehearse next week? I took that as okay. I guess I'm on <laughs> Okay, very good. So um, we are, um, because we're live streaming on YouTube, so, you know, for the folks that are watching, you know, one of the things was like, hey man, if you guys want to chime in, ask any questions of the band, you're welcome to. Um, and because we've got crew in house and visitors, so I do have um, a question that came in. Uh, do you guys play regularly here in Austin? Like, is there a regular gig that you do? Not yet. Not yet. This uh, is coming up. Uh Dallas show is going to be our first show as this band. As oh, okay. As this our incarnation. Mm -hmm. um, so the the kick butt coffee. That was like a couple other there. guys on base. Okay. Games, yeah. Um, uh, so are, are you just? It, it's just a matter of getting the gigs here or timing of, of having shows that are you're available to. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's kind of. We were getting ready to start playing out. This is going to be like you know the big first show for us. Cool. Okay, so this is kind of the grand, the, the launch party, so to speak, <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> yeah. And actually, the so so we're in Dallas next week, but the week after that, we're in Temple at right. Ryan's, and okay. we're opening for Kevin Galloway. I don't know if you know Kevin. Yeah. Know. So um, I'm hoping that really kind of is like our kind of arrival show. It feels yeah. Something yeah. like yeah. that. Really cool venue and uh, Kevin, of course. You know, he'll have a pretty good job on that, so. Good, so good exposure for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've played there, the two of us played there, what, April, May, something like that. So have y'all played like uh, just as a duet together or no, with this other, was okay, with other, yeah. 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 Former. Actually, mm -hmm. his, the bass player from the War Horse is still on that show. Seth, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seth played bass with us on that show, yeah. What's happening, Seth? <laughs> um, so do y'all have, um, as far as in your live set that you do, I know this is basically going to be like the, the intro for this band or this incarnation. Um, do, and 
kind of a touchy subject for some musicians and bands. Um, some people really dig it, love it. Other people are like, yeah, no. Is is do you, are there any songs that you cover? You do a cover? Any cover songs? Yeah, I'm I'm not touchy with covering songs at all. I w I have tons of ideas. It's just that remembering the song, <laughs> right? Remembering lyrics is not a strong suit for me, even my own. Uh, <laughs> no singer I've ever met somehow. <laughs> is, that yeah, right. is that a strong suit? I don't know what it is. Anything uh, particular that you like? There's just one that like in your heart you're like, yes, that's the one um, you do. We have a couple we're doing right now. One that came up and we decided to do it uh, right away was uh, I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan. Okay. Like the song Adam Race is coming off of Darkness on the Edge of Town. Cool. It's not, you know, it's not a popular Springsteen song. No, but that's a great album. You know, like peg it, but yeah, it's a great one of my favorite albums. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a struggle to do because it's you have to put a lot of energy into it. Yeah, it's a heavy style. style. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So is that? Uh, so is Springsteen one of your influences? Is that where? Yeah, for sure. Really? Okay. Yeah. Big, big influence of yours. Yeah. Thank you for watching Three Beers and Whiskey. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification button. That way you don't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey.